Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you my nail polish storage and where I keep everything I guess, my nail polishes and my nail art stuff and this is how it looks, this is like one corner in my room and I keep all of my stuff here, I have some stuff here on my desk and there another stuff up there and in here and in there I have nail polishes so I'm just going to go ahead and show you each little section and i'm not sure where to start but i guess i'll start with the um nail art supplies and then i'll go into the nail polishes which i keep in these two drawer units so yeah let's get started so the first thing you'll see on top of my desk is this little cup and in here i just keep all of my nail art brushes my darting tools and cuticle sticks so on the first drawer here i just keep some kiss uh, nail wraps i have two of those and I also have two from this random brand that I'm not really familiar with. But I just have two of those. And I just keep them there. And in front I have another Kiss No Wraps. And I just took it out of the box. So I just keep it like that. I have some nail stickers. Nail tattoos that I got from Born Pretty Store. And some Fimo. The second drawer has all of my Sally Hansen Salon Effect Wraps. The third drawer just has a bunch of nail wraps I have from this brand. I have these nail tattoos from Maybelline. These nail tattoos that my friend Olivia sent me. I have two from this brand. Two from Dollar Tree. Two from Maybelline. And then I have some Essie, OPI, and Sassy Chick. And this little drawer here. I have all of my base coats, top coats um, here. And then back here I just have some tape, nail art tape. And this is a hard as hoof nail straightening cream. Some little rhinestones. And then that's more tape. And then this little thing is um, a little cup that I use for acetone and stuff. And then over here I just have my little tripod. Um, and then that's a plug thing. And these little drawers, I got them from Dollar Tree. Well, I got those two from Dollar Tree and then that one in another 99 cent store. I'm just going to go ahead and show you what's all in here. So the first drawer has a bunch of glitters. And these four right here were sent to me from my friend Olivia. The second drawer here has more glitters. This is just like a little glitter thing. And then you have these little bead thingies that I use to mix the nail polish. And then a bunch of little baggies full of glitter. In the last little drawer, I keep four of these um, pigment colors to create nail polish. And I also keep all of my female canes. On this one, I have some cuticle scissors, uh, a big nail clippers, and some tweezers. On this one, I just have more nail clippers and a file. Moving on to the green, here I just have more glitters and some nail tips. This one is always hard open, okay. So this one has fake fingers and sometimes I try to practice on these. So then here I just have some water, um, nail polish remover, acetone and some cuticle oil. And I'll get it out so you can see better. And that's just how it looks. I have the water, cuticle oil, pure acetone, and then nail polish remover. Back there, I have an, an extra um, nail polish remover. And then back there, I have a lot of space, but I don't really fill it up since I only use this stuff from the front. And this is how the bottom part looks. I have two separate drawers here. So it has one and then another one back here. And I got this from Family Dollar. And I think they were like $3.50 each. And then next to that, I have a little pink container thing that I also got in the same place. So the first drawer here just has a bunch of random stuff. I have these little um, studs. I have these the tip guides. I also have some reinforcement labels and I use this for half moon nails. And I also have these labels here and I cut them in strips and use them as tape to create um, lines or stripes on my nails. The second drawer has all of my nail files. And the last one has all of my studs and rhinestones and 3D 
bows, flowers, and stuff like that. So then on my other one, I keep all of my um, stamping stuff. Here I have my cheek plates and they came in this little box thing so I just keep them in there. I have one of these special Conad polishes for stamping. And then back there I just have some other um, stamp, I mean plates. So then in this one I keep the rest of my stamping plates. I have some stampers and scrapers and a orange card down there that I use for scraping polish. So next to all of those drawers I have this little thing and in here I just keep a bunch of new stuff that I have that I haven't opened or that I still need to try. So I have some files, some nail rock foil thing and a lot of nail polishes over here. So that's basically everything that's on my desk. Now I'm going to show you what I have on those little shelves and then on that one. So I have this thing that i got from my mom i'm not sure where she got it from but i've seen those at ross and they're supposed to be for like the restroom to put stuff in there but i just thought it was perfect to put stuff for my nail art things so i just took it from her and up there i just have some let me go ahead and get closer and i'm sorry about the lining but i was holding my light that i use for filming but it was really heavy and now i have uh the camera on my hand so i cannot um, do that no more but hopefully you guys can see so in there I just have let me zoom in I have some nail tips and I have this cup thingies that I use for water marble and then I have a drill here from the kiss brand and then in here I have all of my nail polishes that I don't have many of like for example I have only three of this brand two from this brand and like that i only have like two from each brand that i have in here over here i have this little thing and it just has all of my nail art wheels where i practice my nail art and then the little kit that i got from my mom a long time ago and it's just to add like um beads on your nails i don't know what's it called pearls beads i don't know down there i just have some water so now I'm going to show you what's in here and I have nail polish. The nail polishes that I have in here used to be on my wall in a rack. But I noticed that it was like almost about to uh, fall down and break and stuff. So I just decided to place them in here. So this is how the first drawer looks. And this thing I forgot to mention. I don't know where my parents got it but it was also my parents. They were going to throw it out because it's really old and rusty. But I thought it was perfect for my nail things. And before I had nail polish in here, I had all of my other nail supplies that I have on my desk on the little drawer thingies. Um, I had all of them here. On the first thing, I have all of my OPIs and then they come to a few OPIs over here. And the rest of that is uh, all of my china glazes. So on the second drawer, is not that full. I have all of my clean colors here and some clean co colors there. And then I have my Nicole by OPI and all of my S's. The third drawer doesn't have nail art things or nail polishes. It just has a bunch of junk. And then that box and that other thing has a bunch of junk that not, is not nail art related. So this is my newest drawer unit that I got from Michaels. And thank you Tanya from uh, her channel Juicy Daily because she mentioned this. She made a video about this. Um, and I liked it so I went and bought me one and up there I don't keep anything I just have a candle that my friend Olivia sent me um, and then then in here I have a bunch of nail polish and then the last one I have more nail art things uh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what's all in here so the first drawer has all of my simple colors and I try to arrange them by um, colors but up over here I just have a bunch of glitters and they're not really organized um, and this is only like a little bit more than half full and I did add a little thing on the bottom so they wouldn't slide and I just love that they don't move at all this is how the second drawer looks and I just have a bunch of random brands in here um, I did try to organize them by color again and by brand so the first um, three rows here I have all of my uh, cosmetic arts and my color club 
and since they have the same bottle shape and stuff i just arrange them by color and not by brand and then over here i have all of my um wet and wild mega last color colors and then here i have all of my bonita which i really like so then over here i have all of my l'oreal and then from there to there i have my sally hansen insta dry over there i have two bonita nail polishes that um, they sent me on instagram and then i have three from nina ultra pro that my uh, friend olivia sent me over here i have some uh revlons and then back here i have my hard as nails by uh sally hansen and this drawer is also only a little bit more than half and the reason is because i didn't want to put too much weight on the drawers and i they do open all the way out but uh, it's really hard to see the ones on the back so i just decided to place like half of it that way i can pull it out and i can see all of the ones i have in here so this is how the third one looks um i just have a bunch of brands here i just have my sally hansen um extreme wear over here in the corner, I have my Maybelline Color Show. And then I have these three rows of my LA colors, which I really like, to be honest. Over here, I just have these four random glitters that I bought a long time ago. I don't even remember where I got them or how much they were and stuff. Over here, I have three of these um, Love Charlotte XO by Color Club. And those are just glitters and then back there i have my milani nail polishes i have my wet and wild wild shine collection and then over there on the last part i have my pure eyes nail polishes and also this is only fold like a little bit more than half for the same reason as the other drawer so this is how the fourth drawer looks in here i just have a few baskets to organize things better um this big one here it has my sephora by opis and my wet and wild from the fergie collection and i keep those like that because they don't fit standing up because they are too tall um over here i have all of my acrylic paints so back there i have some ellie colors flash pop nail polishes and i have some elf and a color changing nail polish over here i have all of my minis i have four from the brand color club and then i have four little glitters that i've made myself and then i have three santi and then back there i just have two revlon i mean two rimmel this is the last one and in here i just keep more baskets to organize better and this big one right here i keep all of my nail art stripers nail art pens and stuff like that back there i have all of my gradient sponges and then it has some q-tips and this one over here has all of my cotton pads to remove nail polish and then over here i just have more little cups to create um uh, water marble and that's it so that's everything you guys thank you so much for watching um it was really fun showing you guys my nail art stuff and my nail polishes um, and the reason I made this video is because I do plan on changing everything really really soon So I just wanted to have a before and after video. So like I said, thank you so much for watching. Bye